We're on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest, or should I say self-diagnosed greatest reseller podcast, reseller leftovers. It's Joe Philly Picker, Dan in demand, and I'm Jimmy Old School Phillips. You got it so right. Now we are officially a reseller podcast. It's in our title. Yeah. And we're we're self we're self-diagnosed with everything. Yeah, self-diagnosed well, greatest. You guys remember that. What? Remember what? That you should say self-diagnosed in the, in yeah, the title. We can't. Yeah. You don't want to just like. Act, yeah, you don't want to say you're the greatest. Yeah. You just self-diagnose yourself as the greatest and then. Go from there? Go yeah. From there. <laughs> it kind of works out. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm learning. I'm learning to use self-diagnose instead of self-proclaimed. We diagnosed wow. ourselves. Well, self self proclaim so, makes you come makes you kind of come off cocky, right? I mean, can I say yeah, that word? We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. No. We don't have. You gotta be. You're a humble. You're a humble leftover. We're humble. We're <laughs> Oreo <laughs> double stuff. Oreo humbled. Oh, I got oh, <laughs> is that is that the the, the gloom and doom to start the gloom off? Gloom and doom. Yeah, mm -hmm. nah, Jimmy's in a bad mood today because he got a negative comment in the. But that comment. was like a week ago. You've been in a bad mood for a whole yeah, week. It yeah, was a week. Not, it was a week ago on. on an episode that was a week old. So it's almost two weeks. Don't let that consume you. Don't it's let that. A, man, all, like literally, I've been walking around with my head down, a little, uh, little sad, wondering what kind of bad advice I gave. I was curious too. I cried myself to sleep. Do, do you really? <laughs> did you, does that stuff really bother you? No, not at all. I'm used because it would man. bother me. No, when, I'm good. When you I'm messaged us and said you got killed in the chat. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I should have did some laughing emojis because I'm laughing at it. I, it doesn't. I mean, I'm used to it. Oh I'm man, if, if you're hate watching us and you do that to me, please don't. I just <laughs> don't do it that. that would just absolutely just ruin me. It really <laughs> would. I swear <laughs> to God, it would. Yeah, I mean, well, you we are the best reseller in the world, basically. Over, so you don't have to worry about that stuff. Yeah, um, and you're not. Know. That's not self-diagnosed. Yeah, that that oh, was voted by the people. Self-diagnosed at all? It was <laughs> voted on by the people. By the By community, the for well, the not, people. Okay, the we have to. We'll, we'll let. I'm sure not everyone saw that. So we'll. We got last minute last week. What day was that? Was that Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday, Thursday, Wednesday. I don't, I don't know. know. One day last week. Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Monday no, it wasn't Monday because the reseller draft is on Monday. Oh, we yeah. we we got invited on with uh, Ray from the National Flippers for a bracket. Uh, it was reseller madness bracket, not affiliated mm -hmm. with any other YouTube. Person. Yeah, not affiliated with any other YouTube. It's just it's just a name, a play on words for March Madness. Nothing to yeah. do with someone if if by chance they call themselves reseller madness. There's nothing to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing well, to yeah, do with that. We want to be clear on that. Yeah. Reseller, we, comma, space. We've already stole enough names around here. Yeah, we didn't want to steal anything. Yeah, we're not else. trying to although so, it was a bracket challenge. There was yep. I don't know where they came up with 17 people for 16 brackets. Ray came up with it. And for well, some reason, I was, a, I was, well, no, no, I'm saying, but I don't know. I don't know how I made it into this top oh, 17 for 16 people. And then the other 16 people, I don't know how he determined those people. He said Al picked it out. Al? Al? And, 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 and who was it? And who, it wasn't and who, AI. It was Al. My, who, my father's <laughs> name was Al. Well, his, his, my, my dad's name was, was Dwight, but he went by Al. Big, hmm. big Al. Well, no one called yeah. me Big Al. They could have, I guess. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm sure someone did. They called me Big Dan, and it was big, voted on. big dog too. Sometimes Big, big dog. dog. You ever wear a Big Dog shirt? Oh uh, yeah, I remember him. Oh. But I, I'm Big. I'm Big Joe around the house because I have a son Joe, so he's little used, Joe, and I'm Big Joe. I used to. I worked at a print shop, and uh, I used to always get Wendy's, and I'd get the Biggie fries. Uh -huh. and so I'd always have like a Biggie fry sitting on my the podium that I use, and so. Like uh, everybody just started calling me Biggie, oh. this kind of stuff. So like, because I always had Biggie fries on me. So that's that that's would, that would that Biggie. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm also I'm also called other names, but you know. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, can't can't also, repeat them on here. Yeah, well, we could. We, we could. could. It could be like whatnot. You can just do like explicit content. Con. What is it? Oh, content. Is Rated is it content R. or yeah. I started flipping that on because I've been doing a few shows and I and I've played some music and then I, I i have no idea what music's gonna play so <laughs> yeah. i'm like i was just gonna flip this on but then i was like i don't think they play any cuss words in this music Damn, be playing music. That gangster huh? rap on there you'd be playing that gangster yeah. rap on there no it was 90 it was like 90s alternative i was like trying to find something that was not 
insufferable to listen to that I like, but I oh. like country music, and I don't know if people like country music, so I just don't want to play country music nonstop. If that oh. makes any sense. It does. And then I, yeah, I, I never know think what you as a country music fan. Oh, I love it. When I went to, I was driving to Florida like 20 years Florida, ago. Florida Georgia Line? Oh, no, no. Oh, it's it's did there. No. I don't even think they were out. <laughs> I heard this song. I heard this song on the radio. We're going through Kentucky. I think I was with my friends. We're going through oh, Kentucky. that makes sense. And it, I, it, Kentucky or Tennessee, it was like Big Bear Radio. Um, All right. And it, they played this song. And I, I this is back bing, 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 bing. Like now, <laughs> I, my, my car tells me what song's on, right? Your, your car yeah. tells you what song's on. Mm -hmm. So my car told me what, I mean, car didn't tell me back then. It's like 2003. And I was like, what is the name of that song? So I was obsessed with it. And on a few episodes back, I talked about burning my feet. When I was on spring break, yeah, when, I, this was that time when I came home. I was I, I couldn't walk, so I was like, "Well, I got to figure out what this song is." So I turned on country CMT and uh -huh. just watched and listened constantly to figure out what the song was, so I could like buy the album. And uh, uh, what, so what, what, what was the song? What, did it ever play? Did you ever find out? Yeah, I eventually found out. It was uh, oh my I god, it. I don't know the name. Mark something. Ooh. It's like oh, 1970 it, something. It's like 1970 oh. something. Something Stretch Armstrong. Blah 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 blah. I don't know. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong. Stretch Armstrong. Yes, Stretch Armstrong. You're just, you're just having flashbacks to when you bought that. No, no, it's Stretch a real, it's a real, it's a catchy song. But that's when I found like Brad Paisley, Kenny Chesney, oh, like man. Toby uh, Keith. R.I.P. Uh, Toby Keith. Uh, Alan, you like me now? Alan, yeah, Jackson. Alan Jackson. Yeah, I mean, I like some '90s country. I can, I can. George I can. Strait. Not a fan of George Strait. Are no. you kidding me? He, 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 he's an oldie, right? He's, he's been around man, forever. I'm gonna get killed, but his lyrics kill me. Oh my goodness! They George Strait me. is the man. My, like a ten year old could write his lyrics. Uh, how, how, how about how about Luke Bryant? Was he around like back him. then? In, I yeah. don't know if he. I'm sure he's around, but I, I don't know if he's on like the. Yeah. What I was listening I'm, to. I'm gonna get killed in the comments again for saying I don't like George Strait. But come on, See, you're, you're write thinking. this down. Take Holy a little God. note. <laughs> write this down. You write, remind yourself in note. case you didn't know. <laughs> Tell it's a good song. Oh, yeah. Blake, Blake Shelton. Oh, it's a good song, man. Oh, write this down. That's a good song. Anyway. <laughs> So what how, we how did we about? get how did we get on all this? When yeah, we were, were supposed to be about talking about how Dan how you no, I was telling I was, I was bringing up to speed Br the listeners bring it back for the uh like so they did this bracket challenge on the National Flippers channel and yeah. it was seventeen of us and for some reason I kept who on you, winning. Who, who who did you beat? Who did you I beat mean, you to get, get in? in and I get in. I beat ADH Dave to get into the tournament, and then from yeah. there I took on Pete the craziest hunter and I beat him. For Crushed him, right? Crushed and then who would I beat? Then I beat part time picker Matt. Oh, yeah. yeah and was... then I beat I beat Cincinnati picker. You get literally into the took down all the powerhouse all YouTube, all the big names, all yes. the big names. But I okay, so I, I have no idea. Right? Did you guys know about that at, at all? I didn't know so anything before about that it. day. Did you know about it? No, I was like yeah. the last one. Like I even got a text from Joe oh. saying, "Hey." Hey, oh, yeah. Ray's he did, trying to get Ray a hold did of you. say he was trying to get a hold of Joe. And Joe Joe blocked him on uh, Instagram, he said. <laughs> no, I don't know what, what happened with Instagram. So, and, and so anyway, well, I, I, I would say you, you finished off by meeting Kevin. Yes, Kevin. Like you, Kevin Connors. So all, everyone. All, all, the big, all the big names. I, I don't know how. I, I think it was because it, it felt a little unfair because I was the only one that was you could physically look at me. And people could just vote and just realize, like, that like, looks like a guy that's just down on his luck, and we probably should just, <laughs> just like do something nice for this guy for pity votes. They were all like, pity votes, is what you're saying. Probably, I'm sitting there you're like, like self-diagnosed down on your luck guy. <laughs> yes, like, like well, oh, Dana, man. I, I'm glad to be associated with you that you won, man. Because yeah. there's not, there's not too many. I mean, there's only one champion in 2024, and that's you, man. All right, well, it's true. Now, now you have to worry about repeating next year, next mm. March. Who, who won it last year? Did, did he do it last year? I don't know if he did oh, it last year. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know what that was. There, I don't know. Someone might. I, have. I know there was. They did a draft. They got I, to do. He has to do a show next year on how he picks the bracket. How, who yeah. who's allowed in for the games? I'm actually glad he didn't pick me because I would not have made him. 
out the first round. No oh, chance. Yeah, probably, probably, definitely not. Definitely not. I'm not. I'm well, not going to get the votes if, that Dan got. I'm not a likable kind of guy. If you, if you, you really think it, that, Jimmy? Huh? You really think you're not a likable person? Yeah, I feel that way. Yeah. Have you always been that way? Been what way? Not likable? Like, yeah. People don't like you? Yeah, always. Yep. I never yep. got that feeling before we started doing the podcast that you felt like people didn't like you. And now <laughs> you feel like you don't like me, so you, you're <laughs> like, it's it's self-diagnosed and it's 100% accurate. I, I don't, Jimmy, I, don't Jimmy, mind. I told you. I, it's Jimmy, you're all right. Here with us. I, I don't no. remember if I said it on air when we were recording or if it was afterwards the other week. Yeah, I appreciate you here. I just didn't oh, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't think but people do you hate like you. me, though? But do you like me? Not a likable kind I of guy. Oh, I I tolerate. I tolerate you. It's, yeah, that yeah. means it's climbing. That means it's going up. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm, I'm working my way up, folks. Yeah, I'm yeah. working my way up to. Yeah. N- what else? Pass can't stand. <laughs> well, Jim, Jimmy, I'm sure if you went against uh, Rockstar Flipper, that was in there. I don't know. That would that would have been toss up. Yeah. I think. Well, 50, I just 50. have to say, like that was the highlight of whatever day that was. My life started going downhill after that. Okay, I'm just going to tell you that right now. <laughs> so uh, it was short lived. It was short lived. I think because that was whatever day that was. I feel like the next morning I went to the bins to go source. I think. Uh-huh. I think. And I found I found uh, I found a pair of Rothies. Uh, you ever you ever uh, yeah you ever find Rothies? I found Rothies no, twice. No. And, uh, the same day I found two pairs at a at a local thrift store. And they were they were maybe a size six or something. They're just the flat shoes. This was at the bins, and like Rothy's are pretty light. So I'm like, oh, this is great. And it was like a boot, kind of. I don't know if they were like a chucka, you know, chucka or some other kind of. It was a boot, like a boot, not okay. like the regular. I don't Rothy's. think I ever. I'm not. I only boot. seen the Rothy slip ons. Yeah, I'm this not, was like not. a boot. Like it was. They didn't have laces or anything. It was ankle. I've never, I don't even know if I could identify. I've never seen them. What I've Rothy's? heard the name. You can yeah. so whatever they they kind of look like a. Ways, they have right. like a material. They have like a blue line somewhere on like the back of the heel. Uh, that's usually it. you kind of look. You kind of notice them. Rothy's. Rothy's. So I noticed the, when I was picking through oh, the bins, God. I noticed the blue line on the back, and I was like, "Oh my God, Rothy's!" And then so the first thing I did that I learned is that oh, you, you take line. out the. You take out those insoles and you look to see, like, I guess they're faked a lot. You have to look in the inside and make sure that they're they, they're they, they stay made what? in China and not USA. Yeah. So I I I hurried up and I went and looked inside to make sure because I've never seen a boot. So I'm like, let me make sure these are real. Like these are real Rothies. And they say Rothies on the bottom, and they were made in China. So I'm just digging, man. I was digging forever mm-hmm. looking for that stupid boot, and I couldn't. I could not find. I was. I was seriously. If someone saw me, because I talk to myself when I'm at the bins. Um, I, I like I kind of do it. I think as a deterrent for people to come near me. I try to get people you, to get. A, do you consider yourself a good conversation? Like when the, you talk to yourself? Uh, no. I just I well I do it because I always feel I don't think I own spaces, but I feel like wherever I'm at, like people just kind of. If I'm at the thrift store, they're in the same aisle as me. If I'm at the bins, <laughs> I think they come near me because they see me like digging, and they're like, "Oh, I can just see what they have." Well, you are the best whatever. reseller in the world, so I no, mean, they, they, they want to. Oh, hey, we didn't want... even finish that story. Let me let's just finish yeah. that story. I do not think I'm the best reseller. I'm not really sure. I, I'm going to take it as I got voted that because one, I was there, and you could see the pity in my eyes. Two <laughs> is that like I really need to change the way I do things and then go to yard sales, and I, I took it as more of a motivational hype video live for myself for that. So it was kind of more of that, not like I think. I, I definitely, there's no chance if you all honestly thought I was like the best reseller of all those people, like you're seriously mistaken. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know who I could beat, but you, I don't, could, you don't, you don't give yourself much credit, Dan. I, I give enough. I have realistic credit. Okay, like I mean, I'm proud of myself <laughs> for some stuff I do. Not that I want to boast on here. Is that a right word to say that? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. That, I, I that try might to sound a little cocky if you do. No, if I say boast, that doesn't. I'm, I'm trying to say that I'm not trying I'm to. Oh, I just I try to uh, use some words that you know when my mom eventually finds this, she she's gonna listen. She <laughs> might be a little more proud of me that I've yeah. I've used the word boast there, or, even or, though I don't know if it's the right context. Is that I mean, like, you I don't. Cupboard. You used cupboard last year, last huh? week. Cupboard. You, 
used the word cupboard last week. Oh, yeah, I got, I got, yeah. Someone was happy that we called. Oh, I do. Oh, I have to say, man, we're, we have like working on like four stories right now. Yeah, but no, I don't, I cannot believe we did not think of this, Joe. Is that uh, Eddie Sameta? He congratulated Jimmy on, on uh, completing a podcast of Pocket Change that you stuck it out to the end of a podcast. Yep. <laughs> It's a miracle. <laughs> All right, up? so where was that? What story was that? Making it to the end of this one. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I'll be replaced. I know I'm going to get replaced. It's that whole unlikable thing we just talked no. about. Well, no, you... I think if you say you're unlikable, yeah. then people are going to be like, yeah, you know what? I kind of hate that guy. Yeah. I think <laughs> Stop saying know. that you're unlikable because you're an extension of Joe and I, and we don't want to be unliked, Jimmy. All right, I'm I'm a likable guy then. I'll I'll, I'll accept. You're you're, I'll you're, you're very likable, Jimmy. I don't know about very, but I mean, hey, all right, all right. we're working we're working on that. And then I just kind of go down into my self pity now when you say that. Oh, oh yeah, we get, we haven't got to self pity for me yet. So anyway, <laughs> we're, so I, I you had one shoe. shoe in your hand. You had one Rothy with the blue line on the back. And is it is, it is it a Chelsea boot or is yeah, it yeah Chelsea? That's probably a better. Uh, okay. That, you know, I'm, okay. See, there you go. I'm, Check I'm out Joe to... with the knowledge. Dropping so, the what's Chelsea the difference ball? between a Chelsea and a Chucka? I don't know, but I mean, I was trying to explain it for our listeners on on uh, on the uh, audio version. If you're listening on Apple, look for the hot air balloon. I still don't know how to fix that. If you're listening, Dan is wandering around with a bunch of people next to him. Holding no, one don't say that. <laughs> talking don't to say himself. That. Talking, so, to talking to himself. No, I just kind of like, I was kind of, be- I was almost praying to the reseller gods that I'll find this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boot. Praying to the reseller gods? Yeah, that's a thing, right? That's a thing? Like, I you think. do that? I don't know. I mean, I do yeah. when I'm looking for. And most of the time it works out, but this I, I search forever. I wasted so much time looking for this, and and once I find something like that, I know uh, the, one of the very first stories we told I told on this was about how I ended up buying it, the the one shoe, and I listed it and sold it. Yeah. I, I didn't have the heart to do that again because that was such oh. a disaster. But I just I threw it back and then I left because I did not want to see someone find it and then. Oh, here's the other one right here. Were you okay, mad when you threw it back? Like the way you just said that. Like, were you pissed when you had to throw it back? Like, were yeah. you mad? Yeah, yeah. Cause it's, I was, I think I was more mad that I was, well, one, I was sweating because I'd searched for so long and digging through shoes, yeah. pulling up shoes, you know, they're two pounds a piece. Like, feels like I get a good workout in. I felt, now, yeah. I wanna, are you brave enough to like hold that shoe? Cause I see it at the bins, hold that shoe up and say, hey, Anybody else have this other Rothy? <laughs> like, are you, would you ever do that? No, I don't think so. I if I, I if I walk around and I see someone, I, I look so in their cart. I look in their cart. You're like standing next to people, just looking in their cart. So, 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 what, what's your move if you walk by a cart and it's in there? Is, is yeah. your move to ask them for so, your? I don't know like, what my. I don't know what I've done this before. Where right? I've I've seen someone with the other one, and I gave it to them. Oh, you gave, I don't know you. what my, but it's not like, so this shoe, I, I, I like a Rothy's pair of shoes. I think like the ones I sold were around $60. So this boot in my head, I didn't look it up. I didn't, I didn't look, I looked it up later. I, I didn't look it up then. Uh, Cause I, I was, I was scared about how much it was worth, but I was assuming it was worth more than $60 being a boot, I guess. Chelsea I've never boot. seen the boot. I've never seen, I mean, I've, I've watched a lot of YouTube and I, I mean, I, I haven't seen anyone sell one. Like, I, right. I mean, I haven't seen everyone. Like, I don't want to put that like I've seen, but I've seen a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube. I haven't seen someone talk about it. So I, I knew it was going to be worth something. I didn't want to know, but wow. I, I don't know if I would have. Uh, I don't know if I would have. I, I mean, I wouldn't have fought someone over it. I guess I, I don't what know color what I would have done. They were kind of like a brownish. Man. Uh, yeah, like gray, maybe a grayish brown type color. Some of these are for a hundred bucks, sixty-five bucks. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking I could get around ninety dollars. I think they're a size. Eight wow. Eight. Yeah, that sucks. I would have wanted to find those too. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I but I add... thought about I thought about how much time I wasted looking for it, of how much uh, like ninety dollars I could have found. By the time I was there, I was so yeah. like, I was defeated. I felt defeated, and I was tired from digging. Huh? I'm was that a pun? Defeated. Oh no, it was. She pun? Oh, no. That worked out. <laughs> <laughs> that worked that worked there, but no. All right. So I had that going on that day. And then So I, what you said it was downhill. So that had to be step one. What's step two downhill? Like what's the 
Like step two, snowball downhill. Of I have to get some water for this since one. the draft. Oh, uh, he's gonna, oh, he's got to take a drink for this one. A good one. Well, so my plan, my plan last week was to, uh, uh, was I was gonna go to the bins a few days, and then because of uh, they they do a Goodwill sell once a month in my area, and they've already had it for this month. I was gonna go to the bins a few times, and then maybe I had a whatnot show last week Wednesday when this came when, when the episode came out. And then yeah. I was working on, I was going to do, and uh, I'm going to do one this Wednesday. And then I had, it was working on, I have one set up for Thursday to do a, like a garage sale show. So I was going to the bins a few times to find stuff for that show. And then yeah. I was hoping I was going to find enough sto- sh- stuff to have another, sh- try another show. And I was going to do that because uh, like just that stuff's cheaper there. Right. Yeah. Um, well, they ended up having a Goodwill had a sale. It was 40% off. 40% off. So I went to that on Friday. And uh, when I was there, I, I the first store I went to, I was there for like an hour. And I was I was there for, I spent $200. I and mean, when I'm wow. leaving, like the, the girl, she bags everything up. And she put she kept on putting my bags on the ground. And oh, then she's no. like, oh, have a good day. So when I go pick up my bags, I noticed like a shirt was on the ground behind the counter there. I'm like, oh, that oh. looks like, is that one of my shirts? And I pick, like I picked it up, but I don't like to like go behind the counter like some psychopath, like behind the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I pick I pick up the shirt and she's already helping the next guest and or customer. And um I'm like, I, I like I think this fell out of my bag, but it didn't look like it fell out of the bag though. I don't know how it got there. And I'm like, I think this is my shirt. It was like a brand new one from you. No, no, I think it just it was like an under armor shirt, a brand new with tags too. Uh, and, it, and it was like that, um, like the dry fit material, you know, the, yeah, yeah. Yep. and I think when she picked it up, cause they, I have everything folded up there. I take all the, take all the hangers off all my items. I, I sort the hangers between uh, a shirt hanger and a pant hanger and everything's folded. And I have everything where they, I, I, I like, you can flip the shirt over cause they have the, the tag in the, in the left corner of the arm. And yeah. you can just flip the shirt over, scan the tag, and then close it and make a plan. Wow, maybe you should yeah. work there. Maybe you should be behind the they counter. They offer me a job just about every time I'm there. <laughs> if I and I try, I tell them the same thing. I'm like, I try not to be annoying. I go, I know you guys see me coming up here with all this stuff, and you probably hate me because I have all this stuff. And the people behind me are probably disgusted by me. <laughs> like, like, look at this idiot. Like, what's he doing? <laughs> what? Well, why would they? I mean, you're you're helping them check out fast. Why would anybody think that? Well, because I've worked retail long enough to know that. Like, oh, oh my so God, you because you thought that? I got no, it. because yeah. the person comes up with all that stuff and nothing. Everything's on a hanger. Everything's disorganized and everything's a mess. And it takes twice as long. And they stand there and they just look at you like you like you like you're nuts. And what did you think about that person when they walked up to you? Like, how are you this inconsiderate to like for everyone <laughs> else that works here? Yep. <sighs> so. So, well, anyway, so was that Under Armour shirt folded the way you fold it? Like, oh no, because they take sign? everything. They take everything in a big pile and they throw it in a bag. They throw it. Yeah, in right. So I think when she did that, it slipped off the bottom and fell to the ground. Oh. And when I'm just showing her that it's that, I'm thinking she's gonna be like, "Yeah, I've been standing here for the last hour waiting for someone to come check out. That wasn't there. That that's yours. It must have fallen. You could take it. No, that's not what she says." Oh man, this she's is... like, oh, I don't know. She's like, <clears throat> and I'm like, well, she's like, well, you... I'm like, well, I don't want to pay for it again if you're gonna, if I have to, I don't want to pay for it again, but I don't want to leave it if I paid for it. And she's yeah. like, well, what are you gonna, you gonna, you can look through your bag and let me know, like, we, you can figure it out. You can't check she's... the receipt to see like how many items were on there. Like, well, that's what she, she like, if you bought receipt. 20, 20 items and you only have 19 in your bag, that's the 20th item. Yeah, but right? I have three bags of stuff. Okay. Like oh. Three bags. She has stuff. two options. She can either. Give she's already helping someone else, so she's apologizing she's to that person. She's apologizing she to that person her. for taking taking away from her time. I'm thinking, like, oh my gosh. She's, so she counts my thing and the receipt. And she's like, you, this thing was it was forty percent off, but it was priced eight ninety nine. You got forty percent off. So she's like, you have six things that are forty percent. That's eight ninety nine. So I was like, okay. So I start taking stuff out of the bags and sorting my eight ninety nines out of the out of the way but i like have this little area to work and so I, I would go through a bag and then i put everything back in the bag and put it off to the side so when i get done not counting that thing she said i had six i had i had five things i had five five things five, eight, nine, 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 nine. 
Yeah. And then she's like, I go, she's like, oh, no, no, there was, you have six uh, yellow tags. I'm like, no, you, it's, I'm, I'm counting eight ninety nine. It's not yellow tags. So they've read yellow, blue, you know, all the stupid, right, yeah. the rainbow, whatever. Man. So now she has to call the, she's like, well, she's like, I don't know. You, call the manager like, over. Oh, oh, but you have to call the manager and they, oh, they boy. Can, Refund you everything oh, and then rescan everything and charge you again. I'm like, are you serious? And I, at this point, out of principle, I'm not rebuying the, these this shirt. Like, I'm like, I should just buy it again. I'm getting yeah. for, I'm getting the forty percent off. I'll just buy it again, whatever. But I don't do it because now I'm now I'm being stubborn. And I'm like, whatever. No, so that's but, bad service. I don't care. Over yeah, a four dollar yeah. shirt, they're gonna make a big. The old manager shirt. starts taking my took my receipt and started checking each item off the receipt oh, oh my like, god i was in there for like another 35 40 minutes and he finally figured i i pulled every, i'm like look like this is i had i sorted out i put all we were at a different register by then and i put all the 899 stuff in a stack i go it says i have six 899 things this is six 899 things counting the shirt that dropped <laughs> and she's she's like oh, okay so she counts again and she's like okay yeah there there's only five on here She's like, let me give you your, let me give you a refund. She gave me a refund for the shirt. I, I was like, I just took it. I took it. I was like, I, I feel guilty. <laughs> so, I, I, she gave me the money back for it. I'm like, stole. I'm not gonna you argue stole. with you. And you took the shirt, and you got the shirt. <laughs> yeah, but, but, so okay. before you get mad at well, me, well, so I respect they, the they all also they rounded up for me without asking me if I wanted to round uh, up. Oh boy. So I don't know what my total was gonna be. Now we got problems. Now no, I'm just we saying, like I, I don't want to be like you guys think I'm a jerk that took this the money from, from Goodwill when they refunded me. They wasted 40, oh, 30 minutes. Let's give them 30 minutes. Wasted 30 minutes of my life. They rounded up off of my own. Uh they rounded off without asking me. And then for some reason they like it literally had six things. I'm like, this is six things. And then she's like, Oh, I only count five. Here's your money back. All I wanted was a shirt. They could have just said take the shirt, and I would have been completely happy. If they charged uh-huh. me twice by accident, I would have been I don't care. I would have I would have never known. Now right. here's where, and then I never got my receipt back. Oh, I gotta write that down. I'm not an unlikable guy. Do they offer returns at that Goodwill at all? Uh, yeah, for clothing. And then they give you a store credit, huh? Yeah, which is yeah. I'm okay with that too. I've actually never returned anything. Uh, the one time yeah. I tried to, they acted like I was crazy. I took a I took a calculator back that was that was needed batteries. And the battery was just like screwed, and I tried yeah. to unscrew it, and I unscrewed it, tried it, the battery, and it didn't work. So I took it back up there. It's like we don't take these back. Are you serious? I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. I dare I say, like I'm old school. I don't like, see what he did there. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> um, pun intended. No, I would have. I like that's terrible. Jimmy's gonna be serious for a second. That's terrible customer service. That's terrible management all the way around. Everything about that was terrible the way they treated you, and it's lost. It doesn't, it, it's hard to find anymore. So I will tell you. Am I surprised? No. Am I surprised they treat you that way? No. That's not how you treat a customer at all. But I'll, in their defense, though, I'll give Goodwill. I, I, have, I love Goodwill. I don't. I'll give them some defense. That that's how I'm treated anywhere I go for any kind of service, customer service. <laughs> anyway, I swear. So I you're swear. the unlikable kind so, of. Guy. So, so do you have do you have like the black cloud that just follows it's, you around? Is that? I mean, okay. I, I swear, honest, honestly, I have the. Anytime I go anyplace, I have the worst service ever. Like the I'll I'll it's, buy it's and I always beg anymore. my mom. If I, I went out to lunch before and I get like a roast beef sandwich, you know, it comes with the ice mm-hmm. sauce. Oh, yeah. And. They bring me my sandwich and they don't give me the azu sauce, and I don't want to complain. And my mom's like, "They didn't give you the azu sauce." I'm like, "It's fine, mom. I don't. I, it's fine." And she's like, "Daniel, you have to like." And I'm just eating a dry sandwich, you know, like, and I'm like, "It's fine. Don't don't say anything. I don't want him to say anything." So I just eat this dry sandwich. You know, I just picture you over there, just like <laughs> miserable. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> it's drinking it's water like, after every so- bite. A drink of water. <clears throat> Like I understand, like that's something that you really don't have to send this. I, I, I can see if you have to send the sandwich back to the to the back because you never know what's going to happen. That's in the so back. They're going to be mad book. that they have to bring me the azu sauce. It's, they could bring it on the side, like a little, you know. And then you I dip mean, it in there, and or if you want to pour one, it on there, just one time. That's I know that's one time, but that's it happens to me all the time, all the time. Yeah. Anywhere I go, I had, I was at Walgreens. You guys have Walgreens? Yeah. Yeah. Many are twenty four hours. 
they still do that? No, I'm not here. Oh. Small oh. town is yeah. about 24 hours. But so I was at Walgreens, and the, the lady, is, you stand in line, and they like take the next customer out, which is like that. Yeah. I'm standing in line waiting, and this person just comes and cuts right in front of me. And like just walks up to the ca- like the front. And the lady looks, the cashier looks at me and looks, and I'm like, are you serious? So I that time I got mad. Did you actually just, say something? I walked up with my stuff. And I slammed it on the counter, and I go, you, "You seriously gonna let her just cut and not say anything? Just let her cut?" Damn. And I go, "I will never step foot in this Walgreens again." Oh, Ooh. and I did not go there for six months. That's oh. not never. Damn. But That's then never. I had, oh, I went to the doctor, and my prescription went there, and I had to go oh. pick up my prescription. And while I was there, I got a Gatorade. And after I was done, with you got that, cut again. They cut you again. No, I changed oh, my okay. prescription to CVS. Oh. Okay. So you gave him one chance after six months, and, and then I went there. I was there recently. Yeah, I, had to get, I, I was, was just was there. It? What was the last? I'm actually oh, friends with the manager. <laughs> oh, I went to. Uh, I was. I was like, what did I go there for? I was going to pick up Dodger. It was Valentine's Day. I was getting my mom some candy, and I stopped gotcha. there because I had forgotten to stop anyplace else. And there's uh-huh. just like, I'd already packed. The CVS is the other way, the opposite way. Okay. All right. I don't know, but whatever. So anyway. I don't know, man. So that's yeah. It sounds like your week just kept getting more. Anything right, else? That's not even the end of it. Anything is huh? That's not the end of it. That's not the end of it. It gets no. worse. Right. Well, yeah, worse. I I I sold. I, I had like four sales on Macari last week, and I sold uh, last Saturday. Not this one that we just had. The one before that. Yeah. Okay. I sold. So I sold a Polly Pocket toy set on Macari. Yep. It Vintage? came in. Uh, yeah, it was from like 1989. Nice. It was a pencil holder type thing. I got it okay. free uh, from a friend. I had it listed for like a year, and it was in pretty decent shape. It had some, uh, excuse me, it had some paint scrapes on the like the I don't know. It's yeah, it had some it's from 1989. Stuffs and scratches, yeah, yeah. So they they bought it on Saturday afternoon. This is before uh, this is before I'm like haven't left for the day. Like you can still I shipped it the same day. The lady gets it. Oh, she waits her she waits the we have three days to 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 uh what do you call it rate and she takes two days rates me a three star rating and gives this long paragraph oh. about how it's missing this and missing that there's paint chips and i was it she says she says that the springs doesn't hold the something up on it that you need something that's not in it that's supposed to be in it she gives me this i mean this long paragraph of stuff and i'm just like i got like just lost it i was i was at my mom's house pick it up it's the nine thousandth episode of jeopardy i'm trying to enjoy and i happen to look and oh that'll alert to rate this person so on macari i i you have to you can't see what someone rates you until you know they you rate them I don't. I always just give someone a five star. I never say anything because I've said something. I type in something nice before, and then it, they they've said something. They left you a bad rating. That's kind of messed up. They're setting you up. Macari kind of sets Mac- you up. I yeah, and I've tried. I've tried messaging them. They don't care. They because yeah. the last time I used my my, I have one for when I first started. It was like a three star rating. The guy what he I sold him some PS2 games, and one of them didn't work, and he he messaged me. And I was like, okay, and I'm sorry. I sent him like a replace. I, I had some other games. I was like, what game do you want? And I sent it to him on my own dime. I just gave him a game because, like, I was like, whatever. And then yeah. I, I, I like, I won't even rate you for until you get it. And you say everything's good. And so when I rated him, he was like, oh, I could have tested the games, but that's okay. Like, I'm like, dude, I gave you a free game. Like, I'm sure that game worked anyway. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No offense. <laughs> So, and then Idiot. a lot of time, most of mine on there are for shipping because they they've ordered them on a holiday weekend. Yeah. I, like I've had two that were ordered on like Fourth of July weekend or Fourth of July is on Saturday, and that you can't ship till Tuesday because Monday's a holiday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and then on top of it, when Macari, when I I don't use their when you use their labels, if it went like FedEx, SurePost, it takes longer. So they complain because how long it took. I'm like, well, what, how long do you think it's going to take? 
<laughs> so anyway, they, they, the lady gave me a bad review. Like she gave me a bad so review. On, on the Polly Pocket, did you have it fully described as paint chips and scratches and I said it had missing pieces? Portrait. Well, I said it's incomplete in the title. And, uh, I could yeah. You. It says incomplete. So you had a good description. Well, you I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the the most fantastic i had i had plenty of i had plenty of pictures and everything i write like i say that i said it was incomplete and i said please i said it had scuffs and markings please yeah. see pictures for yeah, yeah. reference condition and uh like i wasn't trying to cheat anyone so i messaged this lady and mm -hmm. i was like hey i'm like did you look at any of the pictures before you bought this and or, like if you if you're that unsatisfied you should have not accepted it and just sent it back i don't care like you wouldn't yeah. have bothered me and then I blocked her, so I don't even know if she got it. She might have blocked mm -hmm. me before that. So then that just that was that was Friday afternoon, and that that my life's just been an absolute disaster ever since then. It's just been I, I can't take it. I keep going. I keep looking at this lady's like feedback, and I went and looked. She like gave she must have bought like a bunch of stuff, and she's just giving out people twos and not twos like threes and fours and. She gives everyone like this long review, like she's reviewing the item, like yeah. a long paragraph. Like anyone <laughs> actually cares. I, you find them, Dan. It must be you, man. You yeah. find uh, these. They, but they I, gravitate. I, did, did I mention it last week about the um, the disc that somebody said that wasn't working in the J um, in the James Bond series oh, that I sold? Uh, I don't know I if I mentioned. I didn't it hear about that. No, I didn't hear about that. So I sold a uh, complete series of James Bond. I think it was like. I don't know, 25 discs or something. And the guy randomly says that disc 17 doesn't work. Now all the discs were in good shape or whatever. And so I just said, okay, if you're not, he goes, how are you going to handle this? I said, if you're not happy to send it, send it back. And he said, no, that he wanted a partial refund. I said, I don't do per partial refunds to so send it back. Mm -hmm. I had a good, in I felt that he was just trying to get over yeah, yeah. it. You know what I mean? Fishing. He's it. fishing. Yeah. So he's fishing. say it, Joe. Yeah, he's fishing. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we all so, agree. Right. So I sent him back. I said to said to send the whole thing back. I'll take the return or whatever, you know, to start the return process on eBay. He said, no, he goes, it's going to take me forever to check all these discs to make sure they work. That's what he did. I, a refund. I said, okay. I said, just send them back. I said, oh, if you're nope. not happy with them, he goes, no, I have 30 days to check all these discs. You'll hear from me then. Oh, oh boy. boy! How many days has it been now? So he has thirty days like, to watch them all, and he's going to send them. He, that's what he's going to do, right? Oh, no, he's going to watch the complete awful. series of James Bond. Do you, you know? think you can really watch all those James Bonds in thirty days? I don't know. Have you ever watched James Bond? Do you no, like? No, I've never Bond? watched the movie ever. Oh no. gosh, I tried. It. I fall asleep. It's so boring. So you know, anyway, so I don't like him. So I'm not I, a big action movie person, though. I don't know when. Then I sh I should keep an eye on one and. The 30 days is up. They're not really so my had a bad week too. Though. Now I feel like a jerk. I just said that. I don't too. really mean that. I had a yeah. I got I have one where I have a positive feedback on eBay, but it's a negative review of the item. Oh, that's like good. it's they mm -hmm. did they 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 did positive and I and it's but it says and it's it's so ridiculous because they say it's an action figure and it says the leg joints are looser than described. Uh, looser. Looser. And I mean, my description says hip joints are loose. Uh, that I mean, they're loose. What else am I supposed? Are they supposed? Am I supposed to say they're, they're very looser. loose? They're lo they're looser than I'm telling you. They're loose. They're loose. <laughs> they're so loose. I'm just like, really, like you're just like it, you got. They're exactly as described. The the joints are loose. They're not. Stiff, they're loose. Whatever, though. I mean, it's still positive. I, was, uh, I looked it up. That there's 42 discs in this. You can't watch that all in a, in a month. That's a lot. How many is each? But why is there 42 discs? It's there's a complete that, series I'm, or something. I don't know. Is it like a collector I'm set? Uh, James I mean, I Bond know. Ultimate Collector Set. Are there like behind the scenes stuff? And uh, I don't know. Yeah, don't they're know. fishing. I mean. No You're matter what team. you do, I mean, worst case scenario, they're going to watch a bunch of it and they're going to return the whole set. But which he was you like, already kind of expected him to return it anyways, right? Yeah, he was how like, this, How much was it? Did you say $80? Ooh, that hurts. Joe, you got to stop selling this expensive stuff. Yeah. 
No, so but it wrong. If you sell two or three dollar DVDs, your life will be a lot easier. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but I, I feel like you get more problems with cheaper D, with cheaper stuff too. I feel like most of my problems have come from like, you know, a ten dollar item that I sold. Oh, and, I mean, you just... and, and you and you spend so much time trying to figure this out or deal with that person. Well, I'm sc- of, I don't. I haven't blocked this person. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have a I have a few um, computer games. I don't. Was the last time you sold a computer game recently? Anytime recently? I just like, like a just floppy disk. Like, like a disk. Like it's like a seat. Like a yeah, disk. Yeah. I just sold. I sold a, uh, I, no, just I, I, just so you sold one recently? Yeah, but it was new sealed. It was new sealed. It was. Uh, I, went, I got there's a trip or Badlands or something like that. There's a trip Badlands too. twice a year, and one day is uh one day's a. Sale and then like the next day's fill a bag. Whatever you put in the bag, you get for like five bucks or something. Yeah. And two two years ago, I went on the bag fill a bag sale and I just filled up the bag. And there was a couple CDs that are video uh, computer games, yeah. and I put them in the bag and I had them listed for two years now. They, I mean the bot the the cases they have some whiting around the corners. This right. look fantastic. I pictured everything's pictured. They're listed for ten dollars, and this person's like. How are the conditions of the boxes? Oh, what are the discs like? like? And I'm like, oh, oh my god, I don't know if I. The last time someone asked me about some puzzles, they asked me because I, I used to sell used <laughs> puzzles. Yeah. I yep. just like took the puzzles down. I'm like, ah, they're a thousand piece puzzle. <laughs> I don't know if they're all there. I assume they were there before. Back back then, they're forty nine cents, and I would, took the chance to list them that they're all there. If they look like, I would open them up and like kind of guesstimate. Uh-huh. One time, I tried counting. And, and then I figured out, I found out, like, thousand piece puzzle doesn't mean there's literally only a thousand right. pieces. You could have a thousand and one, they could have 999. So right. I, I didn't, and the person asked me about it, and I'm like, I'm not messing with these puzzles. I just took them down. I just, <laughs> but this, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, do I answer this person? Like, you can tell, but I'm like, did you look at any of these pictures at all? Like, have a hundred pictures, and what is your, the cases? I feel like we're yeah. really complaining. We get anything positive to say this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's only um, 42 minutes in. We're 42 minutes fun. in, and we've n- done nothing but complain. We're, 40... All we're doing is crying ourselves to sleep <laughs> and s- spooning double stuff Oreos. Don't say that. Um, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, actually, that sounds cough. pretty good. <laughs> Try and hit the mute button. I can just cough in people's face. Yeah, I don't, uh, pause it. I mean, I've, my sales have been back oh, to yeah. where they're supposed to. I mean, my promoted, I've been sticking with the same. Promoted thing. My bad advice. My I might have been my bad advice. Was that the advice? That's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. It's uh, has to be. advice. It's what I'm doing. Like you do, you guys promote however you want. I don't care how everybody promotes. I, mean, I actually prefer oh, that other sellers that's... don't promote. I'd rather just whatever. Like that's what I'm doing. Make you unlikable there, Jimmy. Huh? That makes you unlikable. Yeah, I'm you not. Should I, care I, how people are promoting. No, I don't want them to promote. But well, that's, that's my kind of a jerk when you say that. And there's no. <laughs> no, um, I'm sticking with the one that I started along quite a while ago, and my sales are back to normal. Like my payouts are back to normal, so are I'm you, gonna stick with it for now. So are you, are you? But are you listening more? I'm listening about the, as much as I normally do. Like, bef- I mean. Now I had that week where I was gone and I was out of town where I wasn't listing as much. So I'm back above that. I'm back to listing normally and sales. I have seen, I have seen because of that promotion that I raised the percentage. Some of my older stuff is selling on promoted. So I think it's helped with that. And it's something, I don't think I'm going to stick with it forever, but because it's helping with that, Wait, which one, like which one really are you using? Stale, older are you doing trending or 10, 10% max or? I'm doing a trending with a 15% max. Oh, okay. And I'm seeing a lot of 12s and a lot of 13s. Oh. Um, and again, I it's not something I normally do, but I like, you know, like, so here's my options. Do I take my older stale inventory and run it on whatnot and get 50% of the value? Or, and this is not advice. This is what I'm doing. Or do I keep this promoted? That's actually helping me sell these items at my full asking ebay price and you know and you take 25 percent off the top or 20 percent off the top uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with it for now because it's helping those like i'm selling stuff that i've had for a long time that i think that's what's helping it sell is that it's 
being promoted now. I could be wrong. I could be way off. But I'm as long as my you know, I've always I've always said I'm a monthly I look at my monthly numbers. And that's you know, my monthly spent and my monthly deposits. And that's really all I really, really look at closely. And as long as those look good, I'll stick with what I'm doing. Hey. Sounds, so like, I, sounds like good advice to me, Jimmy. That's uh, terrible advice. <laughs> but, but it's what I do. And anything I say, if you choose to do it, that's great. But it's not advice. It's just what works for me. There you go. That's it's what works great for see, me. See a good weekend sales? <clears throat> yes, yeah, I, I ship like 23. So for me, on a, you know, this time of year, that's pretty good. And I... I have nine going out today. Oh, really? That's yeah, good. from yesterday. Yeah, uh, I did yeah, seventeen I, over the weekend, and I have, I have, I already did my ship. I have four going out today. Yeah, it's, so it's been good. I mean, it's I not. Had, I had like eight, and then two going out today. So, so that's a positive. So that's a little yeah. positive note. It's not bad. That's not bad weekend for you, Dan. How how was your weekend, Joe? Did you say yeah. how your weekend was? I uh, eight. Going that went out over the weekend and two I had to ship today. So yeah, I think mine was that was like the best weekend I've had all month this month. Any uh, high dollar items for either of you guys? I not don't really. Think, I don't. I don't think I've sold anything more than thirty dollars, <throat> forty dollars, and that's about what I. I'm always around there. Like once in a while, I I sold a pair of. Uh, I don't remember if I talked about these. I think I did. Did I talk about a pair of van shoes that I bought at Plato's Closet recently? Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, so I, I, and I told you I relisted them for yeah. like, yeah, I had them, I relisted them on, and I had Poshmark at them priced for like 40 or $45. And I got an offer on Friday night for $35, which is what I paid for the stupid shoes. Right. But I'm like, I just, I, that's what, I, that's what it is. Like, I'm just done. I just want to get, if someone's has some interest in them, I'm just, uh, so I lost some money on those. But that might have been the highest dollar amount I've sold all weekend. I, don't, I want to. This is some advice I have. This is actually advice that I'm gonna give. Okay. Um, I had a blanket that sold for pretty pretty good over the weekend, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna try to find, I'm gonna try to find the brand of it. Um, it was a wool blanket. Let me see if I can find it. And what was important that I did is I had this blanket listed pretty high. I had it listed for two hundred and fifty bucks. All right. It's a Hudson Bay, England wool four point blanket. Hudson Bay wool four point blanket, right? And I must have, when I was listing it, saw the listed and saw the sold comps. And while the sold comps were lower, there was not a lot listed and they were listed pretty high. I mean, like where I listed mine. So I went with that. I get an offer for like 140 bucks on it. And I'm like, man, I have for oh, 250. Wow. That's a that's a hundred and ten dollars less than what yeah. I have listed for. I was like, you know what? Do what you've said before. You've had it for a while. Let's look at the sold comps now. Let's see what these blankets are actually selling for. Because oh my gosh, if I have to hear, oh, you gotta look at the sold comps, not the listed. Well, that's your competition. Your listed is still your competition. And if you're in that range, you have a chance, right? But now that I've had it for, you know, probably four months, I was like, let me check the, what these blankets are actually selling for. And they're selling for $130, $140 regularly. So, like, this mm. is actually a fair offer by this buyer. Like, and it, and it wasn't a promotion. Like, it wasn't no promoted fee on top of that. So, I'm like, you know what? It's a fair offer at $140. That's what they're actually selling for. No promoted taking it. And so, I took it for, I sold that blanket for $140. Bucks. So, I always recommend if you have something listed, especially higher, and you've had it for a little bit, and you get a, a an offer that seems low on a higher dollar item like that, though, still double check your comps. Like I was like, you know yeah, what? I, I, I do that too. too high. Yeah, I do that too. Sometimes when I get an offer and I'll check to see what the last few sold for, yeah, and yeah. <clears throat> nine times out of the ten, right I ended up making the right decision on it. Yeah, nine times out of ten, my my price was too high. Yep. So, yeah, now I'm if I. Do that right now with a, I have a LL Bean jacket that I've listed. It's been listed for over a year. I have it listed for like two hundred and fifty dollars, and that's right. what I comped it like six times. I paid like forty dollars for this jacket. Yeah, I think. Oh, let's see that. Oh, let me see if any sold. And yeah, it's, so it went from you know low ball offers. My initial thought: Oh, this low baller, no way. Yeah. Dude, wow, that was actually a fair offer. Not all buyers are monsters. It's a nice jacket. Like, is that like a furry hood? 
Yeah, if you're listening, like you can't see this. Or? Yeah, it's like um, I found it. It's a LL Bean Baxter State Parka down waterproof uh, Ooh, down gray oh, winter man. coat. It's a size double XL. Good and, size um, too. Yeah. Is there 61 listed? Have you gotten any offers on it? I sent out a pretty aggressive offer yesterday on Poshmark just because oh. it's going to, I listed it in January of 2023. And okay. it's, I, it's, yeah, I mean, it's been sitting there. Yeah. If it, it looks brand new, yeah, none have sold. It looks like, I don't know if this is, it XL sold for like, I might be like $100 over. Yeah. Like I was pretty careful when I, uh, when I, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm. I, I might end it and list it because I, I want to get rid of it like this year. It takes. It's big, man. It takes up a lot of room. I wish I had time to go through all my. I have like fifteen hundred listings. I wish I had time to just sit down and recomp everything. You, you man, just, just do it. That, like, that would take forever. Yeah, like a big item like that or something. Like someone yeah. liked it on. Uh, did I send my offer. I say, <clears throat> excuse me. I sent an offer on Poshmark yesterday for one hundred and seventy nine dollars with free shipping. On Poshmark, which hopefully yeah. I'm hoping it's it's under five pounds or whatever. Because I was like, let me just get it out of. I want it out of here. And like, yeah. so that seems like a pretty fair offer. Maybe a little bit less. Right. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty I, wild. I mean, I I make, weeks and that's done. I makes me rethink message. things a little bit. Like maybe every off, you know, because uh, to me, over fifty percent off to me is a low ball offer. But turns out I was the one that was asking way too much so it's interesting yeah. I, i'm gonna start doing a little bit more of that i'm gonna check those check sold comps on when i get offers like you know like i have a sometimes like you get that ten dollar offer on like a eighty dollar item and you're just like yeah that's yeah crazy. some some items you already know right off the bat you know yeah. what i mean like i better. just i sold a uh harley davidson shirt this weekend it's a it was like a performance shirt it wasn't like a t-shirt or anything it was kind of like a dry fit yeah, yeah. Feel to it, I think. I I had it listed for $40. Uh it's been listed for over a year. I don't remember I, and like I just don't pull out this stuff out of the nowhere. I think I mentioned that last week too. Mm. Like I don't come up with this stuff on my own. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. So something made me price it that and I'm and it's been listed and I've I've gotten so many low offers on but on Poshmark this weekend someone sent me an offer of $25. I have like $5 into this shirt. And I was finally like, oh gosh, like I, I've I've passed, I've countered, and people just ignore me on eBay. I just I countered twice last week on this shirt, which maybe mm -hmm. now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have. I ended up accepting it, and then now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have because I've had that was a third person that showed interest between. It's just me. like a look into your brain right now. Maybe no, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Like I talked myself. Yeah, yeah. No, I've had it listed so long, and I, I finally was. It's springtime now. Yeah, probably. Well, probably shouldn't have taken the offer. Probably bread and butter, bre I like to call it bread and butter clothing. And I know, like, I've met people that they do great. Like, and, like, you sell a lot of it. I know people that, I'm at that I've met at the bins that sell a lot of it. But I've always said, like, one of the harder things about bread and butter clothing is your comps can be spot on, right? You're just kind of waiting for your turn, I feel like. So, like, maybe instead of racing to the bottom, you, you do kind of have to yeah. wait for your turn because there's quite a bit of that stuff listed. I mean, the competition there's a lot of it like you can like that brand ll bean you search ll bean is that the brand that you just said yeah that was not the jacket ll bean how many ll bean items are listed like it's insane so like it's not always the pricing it's unless you want to like come in really low like you said it's kind of it does become a little bit of just kind of waiting your turn for you for your okay. item to be the one that's next and it might be it might be a hundred dollars less now because it's going to be it's already almost going to be April. Yeah, I remember yeah. listing that thing. I was so excited. I waited all week to list it because I was I, I do like a a dollar uh, not a, I do a dollar amount that I list every yeah. day. And that day I, I was I was actually I was I actually had plans. I was going someplace and like I didn't have time to list that day. So I'm like I'm gonna list one item, two hundred fifty bucks, <laughs> and then I'll be good for the day. I'll be happy. Yeah. And now it's. A year later, and I'm still looking. Yeah, at it. <laughs> you had a bad year. You had a bad week, and this just adds to it. And, and yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, I wish I wore a two X. I'd buy it for you. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Do yeah, you? I mean, um, I don't ever wear a coat like that. I would never. Not me either. I wear. Do I wear, wear sweatshirt? Like, yeah. 
and when I was in school, I wore I, I wore my Letterman coat. A oh, Letterman jacket. You out. Um, yeah. Letterman jacket. Yeah. Getting all the chicks with that Letterman jacket. Oh yeah. Walking around with <laughs> that little stride to your step. Just kind of. I was maybe snapping. It I hated wearing it. I hated wearing a jacket. But you gotta wear. You gotta wear a jacket. You go to the mall. And you wear that jacket around the mall, and then you see oh, someone from the rival school, and you start cussing them out because they're oh, 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 oh cussing them out, huh? Was your mom? Did your mom know about this? Uh, probably I mean, no. At the mall, like... starting fights. Well, she's got. She's like, got to find, like, find, find this first. Walk in the mall. Walk in the mall. Walk in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just see Dan with the backwards hat walking. Oh, I never wear my hat backwards. Like I never. I didn't wear. I don't think I wore. No, I used to do my hair up. <laughs> I, I oh, did you did your hair, hair up now, huh? I did back in high school. I did. I, I you, what, what kind of hair did you have? Yeah, what, I had really you... wavy hair. Like my hair was very wavy. So I so used did to you always... slick it back. No, I uh, I got it cut every other week, uh, and then I would gel it. I used to dye it too. Oh and I would my god! What, co- what co- <laughs> you used to I, do- wait a second? What color? I had blonde. blonde. I had blonde. I dyed my hair blonde a couple times when I was in my team. Blonde Supreme. And then one time I got crazy and I decided to go. I was I dyed it red and it came out maroon because I had like blonde hair. It was maroon. And then I had to let it grow out. <laughs> it matched your shirt you're wearing right now. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. He's, Slim, he's like Slim Shady back then. He's like, I'm Slim Shady. He's dying his hair. Oh, <laughs> Every just do, do we have do we have do we have pictures of this? <laughs> Some places there's out. gotta be evidence. There's Some gotta places. be evidence. I know I had to take for my senior pictures. I had a my mom made me grow my hair back. I had a I had a I wasn't allowed to um my dye it for my pic, senior pictures. She said I would regret it someday. And I, I mean I remember the last time I looked at my senior pictures. Um, <laughs> no regrets. That's how I that's no how regrets. I live. No regrets. no regrets. Okay. Not even a vowel. I don't know if I don't know if I don't, I have plenty of regrets. What? Oh, sorry. If, if you ever find these pictures, can you post them on like in, Instagram? If for I for us for for your for your listeners and maybe yeah. I don't know because then it sounds like um I might be boasting again. I don't want to be boasting. You don't want to be <laughs> no no. We, it's it's just it's nostalgic. Yeah. Takes you back. To, I want I want like you talked about the mall. What what was your favorite story? Because man. The nostalgia of a mall, man. This sucks that like there's not that many good malls yeah. where my mom what was your favorite went to Oh. What was your favorite store at the mall? Both of you guys. Mine was uh, uh structure. Yeah, you, you guys remember uh, structure? Uh, structure, I don't. yeah. Structure was, it was like, like a clothing clothing yeah, store. It was it was a clothing place. They um at my first job I used to I, wore, I bagged groceries and I made like a hundred dollars a week and I would get paid every Friday. And I would take my money. I go. Ca- they would cash it out. Mm. They register or the the cashier, the service desk, cash my money out. They'd give me my cash. I would take it up to the mall, and I'd spend my hundred dollars at structure. And I'd buy myself a new pair of jeans. This every is week. like a fancy store, Dan. It was fancy back. You in buy the like day. polo yeah, shirts and stuff there, and like yeah, khaki yeah. Or... I wore. Well, I, I, yeah, they used. To, I wore. This is the middle mid nineties. I wore. I like to wear flannels, tuck them in. It would be like jeans. a. Uh... I wear my Doc Martens. Doc Martens. Oh, Doc Martens. Yeah. I was always I big when, when I went there. Was, I guess it was uh, like Sam Goody. It was at the music I was, store. I was oh, going to say yeah, the second yeah. place I love going to the music. Virgin store. Records. But I never. Yeah. I didn't buy. I didn't buy very many CDs there because it was too expensive. Yeah, I didn't either. I would always go. I always, go, go I always get them at like Kmart. Yeah. Would get CDs and then, I was at uh, the. I was the sports club. I love Champs. Yeah, I like the, the Champs. Champs. Yeah. And Foot Locker, Foot Locker, but that you have to go further back. Like that's the early days of mall stuff for me. I, Champs kind of took that over for me. Yeah, Champs was great. Like, and then there was one that did like all sports clothing and like bent, like I forget what it was called though. I don't remember. Yeah, I'll always, I'll always go to like they used to have Models. Models, what's that? It was kind of like a sporting goods store. It had everything. Oh. It had sneakers, baseball equipment, it was in the hockey mall? equipment. It was in usually in the mall. Yeah. There's that I, the last one, maybe about five six years ago, the last one around here closed. I don't know if it, it's the same guys that own um, maybe the Baltimore Ravens, that family, the Model. Uh, oh yeah, um, Art Model. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It was like that. That, but the the store went out 
like I said, five, six years Spencer's. ago. I, think. I went to Spencer's all the time. Oh, Spencer's was a good I got one. my ears pierced yeah. at Spencer's. Hey, oh. that's dangerous. That little hey, that's, that's they got frowned infected. upon. They got, that infected. They got infected. They threw me down in a beanbag chair. <laughs> and, and just, <laughs> I did. How, I ears pierced. How, how old were you? 16, 17. Did, did, I might have been get, 18. Did you have to be 18? I don't remember. Did you get both ears pierced? Mm, I have got both, ears, both ears, ears plus the the left top lobe. Ooh. You got your ears pierced while laying in a beanbag chair? Yeah, yeah. They threw me in a beanbag what, chair. And what, did it. what else happened on this beanbag chair? Yeah, what else? I don't was know there, what happened before. Was there another beanbag involved on the beanbag chair? No. no. <laughs> it got in, I know it got infected. It hurt. Yeah. It hurt. And they were uneven. They weren't even. So I don't want to have so bothered because one of my what it was like they one was closer to out and then the other one was farther back. So they just look it looked ridiculous. Did they use that gun? Because that's the that gun is like yeah, that's the thing that they're saying is like it's just oh, not babbages. Good. Babbages, you guys go to babbages. Babbages? babbages, never heard of it. Like never a video game, it was like computer I've games. Heard of cabbages, no, babbage, it was called babbages. They they were um, I go there because I had an Atari Lynx, and I, I always wanted a Game Gear. Ooh. I wanted a Game Gear, but my uh, Man, my mother did. Know. My mother does what is that? Where you look up rating reviews of everything? Like now you do it in a on the Google, but back then oh. you would you would do it would be in a book. Uh, not oh. the farmer's almanac. It was some kind like of farmer's <laughs> almanac. <laughs> not the farmer. It wasn't farmer's almanac. It was something else. <laughs> farmer's almanac. No, but it was like a book. Consumers. Consumer reports. That's it. Uh, Consumer reports. Oh, that's it. Consumer reports. And she talked to the guy at Babbage's, <laughs> and he. They must have had. Now learning, he probably had some kind of influencer deal with Atari Lynx, because <laughs> he talked her into an Atari Lynx. So and not a game. That's not a common console. It's worth money now because it's not very common. Yeah, I saw, I looked it up just last week, and I because I had sold mine. I, don't, I sold mine not too long ago, but it, enough where I could have gotten way more now, yeah. and, and now I miss it. So you miss, did, what was? You, man, I'm trying to think of the like. I liked KB Toy Store, obviously, but I'm trying to think of a video game store. I mean, they had. I don't remember babbages. It was a mm-hmm. computer. We I used to play computer games too. Okay. Like you know what the, sad? The, the earliest ga- game store I remember. I think it was did the KB sell games also, or was it just strictly toys? I don't. I don't think they. I don't know games. if it had games. I, I know I used games. to get games a lot at Toys R Us. Yeah. You well, get that, you get that yeah. piece of get paper the card. Yeah. 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 Take the out there in the corner, of, like the it had like the bulletproof, bulletproof glass around in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it felt that way. Anyways, I got I got a lot mm. of stuff. I got a lot of stuff there. I that's so that's such. Do you remember? Yeah. You'd just be sitting there trying to decide which game you wanted, and then you get the card, and you'd walk over to the little box. That was so I exciting. Was, see, that's what's what sucks is like when I resell my stuff. Is I always like sports games. So like, yeah, like yeah, no one ever wants those. Yeah. I'm playing. I'm playing I like the regular the games. Right now. MLB The Show 24 just came out. Oh, is it good? I'm playing it right now. I, I love the hitting I interface. Get on my Xbox. The the, I don't know the. I can't remember the password, and I don't know how to. I don't know how to do the forgot your password on it. I was I've, to, never not a, I, I've never owned. I've never owned Xbox. I don't. I've only had PlayStation. So I oh, remember. really? Oh, is that I, a- I, should, I lie. I've sold a bunch of Xbox, and I've probably. I know there's videos out there. Best thing to do is watch a YouTube video on how to do it. When I got when I was uh w- when I was w- working at Blockbuster, I I had an Xbox and then I bought another Xbox that they were they, they sell consoles, so I bought one. Yeah. Uh, um, like a previously used one. And I would always go up and look. You could look up and see the history and see how many times it was rented or whatever. So I would always like, oh, this has only been rented like X amount of times. I'm gonna. So so I bought. I bought one. So I had two in my room, and I had two TVs, and then I had a futon. So depending on if I wanted to lay in my futon, if I wanted to sit up in my futon, I could. I could. uh, I didn't have a beanbag. (laughs) I could. I could watch whatever TV I wanted and play my video game. All like, and I would just play baseball. Is this before you had sleep apnea? So you like, were yeah, yeah. I had pretty good week of sleep apnea. I do. Oh, I did. I did. I did bring a show and tell thing today. Ooh, about ooh. my. I was because I was. 
I was looking in my, uh, I was getting something out of my closet and I came across something today and I was like, oh, it's a, it's a little, it's a thing I had for when I had plantar fasciitis. So if you're listening, if you care enough about seeing one of my things, I brought it here. This mm-hmm. is a stirrup. I have two of them. The Chelsea. I had two of them, but I only brought one. I only brought one. Assless chaps? Oh, no, it's like a, it's a boot. Oh, is like, that the one where the balloon blows up at the toe and pushes it no, back? No, oh. it's like you, you put your foot in here uh-huh. and then it like this thing straps around. And oh then it like Lord. Pull, it pulls your it pulls your hand like your calf yeah, yeah. stretches out your calf so it helps your foot. It's it's str- it's actually stretching out your Achilles. Yeah, there you go. Because that your Achilles turns into your plantar fascia. I wore two of these at the same time. Walk around like a curtain. Like <laughs> oh a do, do you put a do you put, do you walk around in barefoot or do you put a sneaker in there? Well, I'm supposed to wear socks because my my foot gets dried out. <laughs> he so just, he just it barefooted it. He was just it keeps it moist. Then it keeps this sweating. nice in here. I mean, Got a little. I, I mean, I, I'm familiar. I wore the boot. I had the full on boot. You had this one. You wore something like this. No, I had the full boot. Like it was a. Oh, oh no, okay. it was it was the bigger one. Like and it has the round the bottom. Well, yeah, we're when that one was the bottom, the bottom kind of like rounded to where when you step it kind of. Goes... Oh, it moves. I went to a Broncos game in that boot. That was fun. Oh, really? This um, this might not be. This is probably less fancy than that. I think I got this on Amazon. It probably does nothing. I probably just no. It probably no. You're not. Me. The hey, I that's my, amazing. My podiatrist taught me all about what was wrong with me, and the idea is to not let your foot rest because when your foot rests. There, it adds slack to your plantar fascia, and then when you get up in the morning and it tightens up, that's when you yeah. that's when you get the really bad pain because oh, yeah. you've been resting all night, and then you Close stand up. And it's not best way to describe it. She said is your plant your fascia is not like elastic; it's more like a rope. Oh, it's hurting my so feet when thinking you about pull it. Pull a rope tight, the tension. All right, you got a lot of feet talk here going on. Yeah, let's, yeah. Oh, I mean, what do we, we got going on this week? One, one, on one, this week? one more thing about feet. Oh. How about that? Do you do you not about feet, but about a sneaker? Do you do you ever get rid of your items? Like if you get like two or three returns, you just get rid of the item because it's just a bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's uh, like a cursed okay. item. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you know a thorn. It's like Annabelle. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so I sold these sneakers. A pair of Hoka sneakers. Oh boy! As soon as I listed them, they sold right away, like three, four weeks ago. They get them. I get a return for them. Say, and and the lady said that she has pretty good luck with buying new sneakers online, but these are a little tight. Red flags. Okay, send them back. I give her the return. I wait. I, I just get a no. I think. Once I got the return, you can list it for free or whatever. It just says yeah. re- refund re-list. and relist. Yeah. yeah. It usually so gets re- a little boost. They usually get, eBay will give that listing a little boost. Okay. So it must have got a boost because I sold it. Lady had it for about a week. I get the return. This time, just don't like it. Oh, man. Return. They pay shipping back. You know, they yep. pay the return back. Get it. Refund it. Here we go. And so I relisted or whatever. Yep. It sells immediately again. Oh my god! Um, third time of selling these sneakers. So I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, pack them up, send them off or whatever. Like two days later, I'm laying in bed. I mean, it's like I don't know, three o'clock in the morning, two thirty in the morning, and I, something comes over me and goes. So I, I checked who bought them the third time. The third buyer is the same buyer that bought them oh. the first time. But I had already shipped them out. I already <laughs> shipped them out. Oh, no. So I don't know what's going on. See, if you would have been Dan, you would have blocked that person. You would have been fine. Right. I think that's, <laughs> yeah. I think that's I don't, what I, don't, I need I mean, to do. If someone, if they bought them because they didn't like them, I feel like they could just resell them and not go through. Like, So I would block them. If someone, if they didn't fit, I don't I'm trying to change my ways of not blocking someone that does that, but uh, I don't know. I, don't saying, know she, she I said, would, I wouldn't ref- I would ref- man. Cause if it comes back, this is all, that's all on her. Like she didn't do yeah, her she, work. I just checked. She didn't reach it. Right. And I, when I shipped them, I, I said, Oh, this is weird. These are sh- selling pretty good. I even checked 
other prices. Like, oh, that's am I selling them too low? It was fifty five dollars. I was selling fifty four ninety eight or whatever it was. Yeah. So I sold them three times within a month. Two times they were returned. At least the they returned time. them pretty fast, Joe. So they yeah. haven't been returned the third time yet. She, she hasn't, hasn't gotten them yet. She mm-hmm. hasn't gotten them yet. I oh, just boy. checked the tracking. So they sold, you know, over the weekend. But it was this Sunday night or well, was Sunday still month. Resist. Yeah, I mean, I'd block. Unfortunately, I'd, at that point, you have to block that seller if it comes back. Oh yeah, like, if it comes back, that's, then, that's, then, that's, that's yeah. not. So I'll keep you posted next week. Yeah, yeah. You know if it, it, what happens with that, but I looked it up and it, I'm like, oh my god, either same buyer. Maybe, maybe she'll be like, oh, I like these ones. Yeah, maybe <laughs> even better than the last pair you sent. I'm, so, but I, I feel like, don't you think you would look at? You know what I mean? There's not that many color out there. They're like they, they're like the color of Dan's shirt. They're like burry me or or because I was like wearing this shirt and I was like. I just wear this last week. I can never remember. I gotta buy. I'm gonna buy some new shirts this week. So I I, I, anyway, that's what that's what it was. And then I'm like, Sorry. I'm like, it's got it. And then I don't know what, you know, something you know yeah. went off in my head. You know, yeah. let, let's you check. That couple that that collects cursed items. Once you get them, just send it to them. Like these shoes are cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm. Keep uh, these in I'm, the basement. I'm not relisting these again them. if they come back. Oh, send them to me. Can I have them? Sure. Yeah, you know. oh, yeah that's no, a good idea. We're so late. You have to. I um, did you? We had a uh, during my whatnot show. A listener bought you a shirt, and I sent it to you. Oh did yes, you I I did not open that yet. It, it came yesterday. It came yesterday. But sure. someone bought you a shirt and had yes, it on Dan's, on Dan's show. whatnot and had it yes. shipped to you. And he needs to thank them. Yes. And I thought you were gonna. It would have opened Thank you. it. Thank I, I I did I did not open it. It was it was Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did Jack not open it yet. Road, right. But I am. I, I don't know what it which exact shirt it is yet, but I will definitely open it up after the show. <laughs> and maybe wear it next week. We never know. Hey, hey. Or is it opening? What's opening day this week? Next week. Thursday. Thursday. Next next Thursday. This Thursday, but it's probably going to wear. It's probably going to be rained out. Like tomorrow, Thursday, or I mean, like two days from now. Today's oh, Tuesday. Oh, supposed to open. Today's, yeah, two days from now. I'm thinking uh, about buying. We're, oh, sorry, we're supposed to get r- 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 Indians, really bad. No, it's not the Indians. The Guardians. No, no, no. I, I picked a new team, by the way. I picked a new team because no Cubs, of MLB the Show 24. The Phillies. I have a new team. The Cubs. No, it's it's not the. Dodgers, I don't right? think you'll guess. I don't think you'll guess. Who? Just say. It. I've always loved their logo. It's always been one of my favorite logos. Just say, um, it. and now I'll give it. I'll give it away. They have their. They have children of players that I used to watch on their team. Quite a, three of them, actually. The Blue Jays. Yep. Uh, Is it? Yeah. I still. Man, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I mean, Bo Bichette. I mean, his son played for the Rock. I mean, his dad played for the Rockies, and I was a fan of his dad. So, think. Yeah, I mean, I and I've been playing as them on MLB the Show, and it's fun. So. Now I got to decide because I don't have, I have to pay. I think on Amazon it's like you pay for the and you can watch all their games. Oh, I have T-Mobile Tuesday, and today I get MLB TV for free for the year. T-Mobile Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Do you have T-Mobile? No, I don't. So T-Mobile, it's the best thing. So I used to do AT. I was, I was, I signed up for Singular back in the day. If you if you guys remember, Singular. oh, Singular, yeah. And then Singular got bought out by AT and T. I was AT and T guy forever, and uh, I'm on. I had a family plan, and my mother was on my account with me. And then a few years ago, like they kept on taking stuff away from us on AT and T, and it was getting more expensive. Blah 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 blah. My mom yeah. has she had some. They had some. They T Mobile had a deal where uh, like senior they had like senior citizen discount. And it's it's super cheap to switch over. So she opened T-Mobile and put me on her family account. And they have a thing called T-Mobile Tuesday. Every Tuesday, you get some kind of deal someplace. So, like, this week was it's free MLB.TV. So you can get uh, MLB, the the ticket. Yeah. You get all the games. It's like the third year in a row I get this. It's amazing. Get all the games except for your local market games. So I'm a Cubs fan. I can't watch the Cubs games. But luckily, I do like the Yankees, so I can watch oh. all the Yankees games. Terrible team. I watch man. all the. I watch a lot of Blue Jays games too, because I love day baseball. I like watching baseball during day. Uh, yeah, day baseball yep. is the absolute best. So I watch a lot of Phillies games because I like listening to John Crook. 
So. Oh yeah, John. Um, Cook, man. So I, I watch and I, the Blue Jays. Blue Jays has the announcer guy from. Um, now these are hardcore listeners. If they're listening now, we're almost to the end. Anyway, yeah. so we can. It's okay to talk a little sports. It's mm-hmm. I can't remember his name, but he does a lot of basketball on ESPN. He's a very good announcer. Think I can't think of his name. I'm gonna say Dan, but I don't know if that's. Of course name. you are. But it, we, when yeah. you hear him, you're gonna know him. So I listen okay. to. I, I like to listen to him, and so I watch a lot of Blue Jays games because of him. I like listening to him. Yeah, and I, like stuff like that. That's how I pick what I'm listening to because I can't watch Cubs because Kim Cubs are only on Marquee Network and I don't get Marquee Network, so I can't watch the Cubs anymore. And they, so anyway, like. They don't, they, but they I've have decided like, baseball is not fun to watch unless you have a team to root for. Yeah. So no, that's what I'm shooting bet, for now. So bet on it. You can bet team. something on it. Is no, betting bet. legal in Ohio? Yeah. yeah. I've never, yeah, I've never bet on sports ever. Like oh, never. It makes, it makes uh, watching sports a lot yeah. more fun. Hmm. Is Dan? Can you watch away Cubs games? No. Or no. No. No it, Cubs no, games. The only way it? it would be if I was like if I went to if I went someplace I could watch a Cubs game. You can love out of the market. Okay. Yeah, so it's 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 the down. It's it sucks because I, I I don't know. I say I would watch more. Sp- I thought I would watch more like sports, but I get I haven't really watched. I watched some of the basketball tournament last weekend. Um, yeah, I watched a lot. I've, I've been I just been busy like doing working and stuff. Yeah, that's well, awesome. the, Chicago sports teams are terrible, so you know you're not missing much, Dan. Man, they are, they have been pretty bad, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the T Bubble Tuesday it's a deal every week. Like they another they have two this week, and the other one is. Little Caesars Pizza, you get five dollars uh-huh. off if you spend ten dollars. But they'll have something where you get like a. Last week was a free. Do you guys have Firehouse subs? I've had. Well, them I've heard of it. And, and like know. last week was buy one get one free from there. They have, the last few weeks it's been like Wendy's. Uh, the Ooh, free biggie fries, biggie fries. Free, no, like free free uh, like frosty a free breakfast sandwich. Oh. Okay. They have other stuff. I mean, it's not, it, it used to be better stuff. Like, they go from sandwiches to Major League Baseball. Yeah, I feel like in that, that Major League Baseball, the t- the ticket is worth a whole lot more money than like two hundred dollar value or something. Or like. free sandwich. I yeah. would never. I mean, I want. I, I oh my god, I would never. Back, I used to spend for that. I would never spend. I'll spend money for anything for myself. So I, I think I Amazon has a thing where I can pick. Just the Blue Jays, and we'll you might, think, uh, yeah, they it might be a thing. And I, can I know the NBA did that before their games. So I I'm gonna try that. Did that. The NBA did that before. You could pick just a team. You could pick a game yeah, yeah. to buy. But so I'm gonna try that. We'll see. sign up for T-Mobile just to get the free. Um, yeah, cha- change everything know. about your life. Change you know, yourself, like Verizon. everything. And yeah, well, I have AT and T, and I hate it. Yeah, I don't have a lot of issues with Verizon out here. So I'm just you do or you don't. I don't. Is Verizon does it your house internet? Does it do your house internet? No, I have Spectrum. I don't know what that means. But obviously, I need to switch that. That's what I was curious. Can, so can you get Can you get Verizon internet over there? I, I think you can get T-Mobile. T-Mobile. I think you can get T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Well, right now, they're adding that fiber optic stuff. Like, yeah. they've been working on our yards and stuff, and it's yeah. going to be coming available soon. So, I might just wait for that. Yeah. Yeah, they just they've been messing with that. They've been dropping in and out this whole show again. And so I, for those technical difficulties I've been dealing with, I have a new, I have a new, not the router. What's the other thing called? Modem. Modem. I have a new modem. I have a new Ethernet cable. The only thing I haven't replaced is the router, but that router is less than a year old. So now I don't know what to do. <laughs> Joe, what do you got? It, uh, what? I have Verizon. Are you hardwired in right now? I'm hardwired in. Oh. Yeah. I you have Verizon? No, because... When we, the we first sat down for Jimmy to do to do the podcast with us, he's like, "How's your guys' internet? How's your? Con- are you hardwired in?" And I'm like, "I'm Wi-Fi'd in." And you're like, "No, you should be hardwired in." <laughs> well, I've been fine. Yeah, well, sometimes, no, I have. sometimes you freeze, Dan. Well, but yeah, I I I, I, I have Verizon. Just goes in and out. I have Verizon here, and I got rid of cable, which is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Um, just How does the Verizon's work? How do they run it into your house? Uh, there's a bo- wireless or no? There's a box on the side of the wall over here, but I think it's those fiber optic cable, you know, underneath. Because my old house, we couldn't before I moved here. We had to have Comcast because they were st- still doing like the uh, yeah. running the lines for Verizon. Right. I think maybe about that. because I have six, cable lines through the yeah, cable. Six or eight months before we moved, we could get we could get Verizon. I just stayed with with Comcast. And then when we bought this house, 
the lady said that she had Comcast here. Maybe I misunderstood what she said or whatever, but she said that she yeah. had Comcast. So I just switched my service up here from, you know, and then when I got here, there was no cable lines ran here. So I couldn't hook the, I had a call and, but when I got uh -huh. here, I found out we had Verizon. So I just ended up just uh, getting the internet and then I started streaming, which I'm still getting used to. So I've been almost a year and still getting you used stream to it. Do you stream playing video games? Are you a gamer? No, I don't. I don't play I'm video games. I haven't played video. I haven't played video games since like Tomb Raider, on like PlayStation Two. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, that would okay. I, I would Me either, that. except for MLB The Show. No. Yeah. I try. I, I try watching because the kids play it, and I try playing. There's too many buttons. I just need to, you know, give me an A and a B oh. button and a and a joystick. You know, up, down, left, right. That's it. Don't I just bought a game. I bought a game on whatnot. Uh, I just got it last week. Gen Multiverse. Oh, Lion King. King. Lion King no, from Super Nintendo. You, you have a Super Nintendo, or do you have, I have a, a Retron? I have a Retron. Retron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. My I, my yeah. brother, my brother's like, what is that? I'm like it's a Super Nintendo game. He's like, you have a Super Nintendo? And I'm like, no, I have a Retron. I'm like, I can play Super Nintendo, Nintendo Genesis. Yeah, I Genesis, bought it when I was yeah. first first getting in a resale, and I was watching Lonnie. I yeah, I remember like, Lonnie getting and one. And yeah. he, I think he he was pulling out. Uh, I think he had a Retron. And he was talking about, and then everyone's selling video games. Like, you should be selling video games. So I'm out looking for video games all the time. That's I'm gonna be a video game seller. No idea what I'm doing. And <laughs> I, found, I went on Amazon, bought myself a Retron, and I bought. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull it up here. Bought myself a hair hair TV. Oh, hair I have that. One. I, I have that one. It's it made it so much easier to test consoles because it yeah. was right. Here. It was right here. You didn't. I have got to... all this stuff. Spent so much money on all this stuff. And mm -hmm. now I sell clothes and now you sell clothing. <laughs> and I and I was I had this on yesterday, my the TV, because I was testing uh some uh disc DVDs just to make sure they loaded. Uh yeah, I got I got some whatnot. in my whatnot auction tonight that I bought from Lonnie that I'm putting in my whatnot. What time's your what time's your whatnot? I, I noticed did you take uh seven to, you, sh you shared it to me and then I, I went to go share it and then it said it, I don't know it was expired. Oh, did I share you on it? Yeah, you put me on there. I'm like, oh, I guess Jimmy doesn't know I don't do the. <laughs> I didn't see it till later. I was on Instagram just a little bit. I wasn't on Instagram earlier, yeah, but it didn't let me share it, so I didn't know if you. What's it? The raid train? What's it? The, yeah, the... yeah. I'm checking out the raid train today. What Which time was you yesterday on? for those of you listening? Oh yeah, seven. Well, oh, it's tonight. Okay, so yeah, was... so I'd be in the past. I was gonna. I thought about doing a show today too, or two it's Tuesday. I was gonna do it earlier. I didn't want to compete with the raid train right a lot of respect for the raid train people over there but i was just gonna go on like earlier but then i didn't want to get we were doing this and then when we get done with this i got some other stuff i gotta do so i, I was like i don't know if I'm, I'm not gonna be pushing my time so i'm doing it on thursday i have very low expect i'm going in with zero expectations i plan on selling nothing that way if i do sell something how you I'll be going with that the last the last few i watched last week and they were crush it it was everyone was killing I hope so it. i hope so but i've had you know a q chris cajun commenting down below jimmy you're still trying whatnot i thought you gave up on one i i had i, I I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm going in, i'm just doing it for fun at this point I it seems like it. what not what not sucks people back in yeah, yeah. Dan got well, sucked back in jimmy's back in well, i think well, it's gonna Paul, be good Paul asking me sucked me back in, and I it's yeah. been pretty good. Like it's not been. I'm still like, uh, is something gonna be bad? Like I'm already set up. So I have, I have a clothing show on Wednesday this week, and then I have a garage show show on uh, Thursday, and I think I have like four or five things left to list. For. I've already listed. And we're already ready to go. Like I I feel more organized, but I'm still waiting to see if something doesn't work out and it doesn't work good for me. But it's not been bad. I don't know what was that whole Jimmy. Jimmy's not likable, and Dan is likable. Uh, I know because I've had a bunch of. But uh, when's the last time you did a show? Is it the, when you? It's did been it last a while. Week? It's been quite a while. But it's, it's just like, the only thing I don't like. The only time I don't like whatnot because I don't even care. I'll sell something for two bucks. I don't care. Like I, if I got two dollars an item for every item, I'd be happy. It's when you run seven things in a row and don't get a single bid. It's just a matter of like my. T it's only my time that I start thinking about. Like what am I doing with my time? If I've run seven items and not one of them has sold and not a single bid, it's nothing. I don't have a problem with anybody. I don't, it's just like my. I start thinking about my time and I'm like, man, like I put a lot of time. You're like, I could be in like the seventh inning of the show. What's that? 
Was it's going to be the seventh inning of the show by now. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You'll <laughs> be playing baseball on, on – yeah. So, Jimmy, you have, a, you have a show tonight, which is Tuesday, which would be yep. yesterday. Man has what one tonight, you? Wednesday. Wednesday. Right? Wednesday. Or later yeah. today. Yeah. Ba- back-to-back yeah. back days, Dan? Wednesday, yeah. Thursday? Well, because that's what I was explaining earlier was that, like, I have to – I have to try something different because it's oh we're supposed to we need to start uh, so late in the episode because garage sales is happening. How did we not talk about garage sales at all? I, I don't know. We I could we, we I could stop you from, you from your. I've, huh? I've been to some rummage sales, but not garage sales. No, because yeah, nope. sure, it's got to be happening soon. Yeah, because I I, yeah. I I mean I got like if I'm what what I don't know like the stuff I'm I just I don't know I need I I, I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna say. No, what are you? I, gonna, what are you? They're starting just, up soon. If but... I go, well, I'm just saying like garage sales and stuff like. I was just saying I need to. The one thing I I start selling clothes and shoes is because of space and stuff like yeah. that. If I start selling other stuff that's not that, I need to make sure I can like. Hopefully, it's stuff that will sell for me quickly. Right. So whatnot is a factor in that to try to sell it quickly because I can quickly run out of space. Is my pro- is what I was trying to say. Like I don't. I, I'm trying to change. I watched that. Uh, the Nashville Flipper. Where he had that. Uh, Ray had the podcast with Jen and Paul two weeks ago. Yep. What not? Whatnot. It was really. It was really good. And it, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to change my mindset on it of of how much and just look at instead of items or how much stuff is worth is just like money wise. If I have yep. if I have fifty dollars into all the stuff I'm showing. Can I sell it and make one hundred and fifty dollars and three times my money right. in one afternoon? And that's like that's how I'm think. That's how I'm trying to think of it. It's in that. That's like I feel like I've I've thought of stuff like that, but it's different when I go to the, like I said, I went to the thrift store, spent two hundred dollars on stuff. Like I don't think I can make six hundred on that stuff in yeah. one show on 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 uh, whatnot. Whatnot, yeah. Yeah. yeah, again, it always comes back to if I'm getting no bids at all, then it's just like I, I can't even make that $70 off of $50. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not getting any bids. Let's talk about that. Let's talk. Let's start. Let's talk about yard sales and some of your plans and some of this new stuff you're going to be sourcing. You want to talk about that at the beginning of the show next week? Let's do yeah, that. We can, yeah, it was, yeah, I thought it would be a good thing to start talk, cause we gotta, yeah, start talking. Because we got it. There was a sale last week. There was a sale last week. I didn't go to it, but they have to be coming. Cause it's going to start ramping up. We're going to, yeah. we're going to be having highway sales and community sales and citywide sales. So we're going to talk about that next week on the reseller leftovers.